Hello friends, today I am going to solve Likert problem number 1071, greatest common divisor of strings. So in this problem, we are given two strings, string 1 and string 2, and we need to return a larger string x such that the string x divides both x, string 1 and string 2. So this problem is actually a greatest common divisor problem in the form of strings. So let's look at this problem with some examples. All right, so what is a greatest common divisor? Suppose we are given a value 3 and a value 2, two integers. What's the greatest common divisor of these two integers? Well, it's equals to 1. Now, let's suppose we have a string of length 3 and of length 2. Suppose the string E is A, B, C, and the next string is A, P. Then the greatest common divisor is, of course, 1. But are these two strings... Um, does this two string has a common string that makes the both of the string? Well, it doesn't have any common string, right? The only thing common is A, B and A, B. But this C, this C is not present in this, in this string. So basically, there is no such string X which would divide both of these strings equally. So what about if we have something like a a and a and a, another string a and a so of course we can form a string of length a length one which consists of only the character a which would divide these two both of these two strings right so it would divide this um in equal three parts and this this in two parts so basically this length we get it from the greatest common divisor so that is what we are going to do we are going to find the greatest common divisor of the length of these two strings and then that greatest common divisor that length would actually be the length of the string x and the string x would actually be the substring starting from zero to the greatest common divisor so let's look at this example. This is of length 6 and of length 3, right? So we have 6 and 3. Now what's the greatest common divisor of both of these? Well, we just know by our intuition that's 3, right? Because 3 would divide 6 and it doesn't give any remainder. The remainder is 0. And 3 divided by 3 is equals to 0. I mean equals to 1. The remainder is 0, right? So 3 is the uh, greatest common divisor so now that we know the length of x so the length of x is equals to 3 now what's the string x well string x is the string starting from length uh, index 0 to index 3 well we are not going to include the last index but definitely the index 0 so this length of either of these two strings because that divides it equally right so if we take 0 to 3 what's that string of course it's starting from 0 1 and 2 so this abc is the string right in the same case it would this string also it would be the same a b and c starting from 0 1 and 2 and not taking the character uh, the index 3 so this would be our string x and that is what we are going to return now that we know we understand what this problem is let's try to code this solution so we will we are going to need the greatest common divisor for these two strings so let's first of all take the length of the two strings Now that we have the length, let's define our greatest common divisor function, which takes the length, two lengths, x, y. And if the length of y is equals to zero, then we are going to return x. Else, what are we going to do is we are going to call our GCD function again with the values y and the modulus of x, 
with y and then finally return the value so the greatest common divisor would be equals to the gcd called upon the values m n and then we are going to return the value of string um starting from string one um and we are going to slice the string starting from zero to a division so the slice it actually slices from zero to the element before this index so that is what we want now we are missing one thing here what if these two strings are not equal right and in the example that i showed you a b c and a b these two strings are not going to have any greatest common divisor right it's not going to have any string x that would divide both of these strings so how do we know that this case so we we could know this case just by like concatenating the two strings so if you concatenate string one and string two and then string two and string one what is the result well this results in a b a b c and this results in a b c a b so these two strings are not actually equal right so that is when we know that we do not have any um, greatest common divisor so we are going to check if string one plus string two is not equals to string two plus string one then we are going to return uh, an empty string why don't we do it in the first place so that all right let's throw run our code cool let's submit it so the time complexity is o of n 